the holy grail of crypto, I think, might be money management. As I've been saying quite a bit, and I think I might have said this. I know I said this in the stock chart show, and maybe the week before. But long story endless, a friend of mine used to work offshore up until a few weeks ago, and those guys that work offshore get paid a lot of money. God bless them, you know, getting some some uh, energy out there. And and some of them live very very meager lives outside of uh, their work when they're not on the rigs or whatever. They live in a trailer or whatever, and because half the time they're out in the rig anyway, so they don't bother buying a nice home or whatever. And uh, he was telling me some of these guys might make 200 grand a year. And, and he said at nighttime, now they all go to rooms and they play on their phones trading crypto. And I found that really interesting. And I guarantee you, or I'd be willing to bet, that they're not using proper money management. And the people that I've met that I know who really haven't studied trading much and have gotten into crypto, they're not using any money management. So I think it's a golden opportunity for us who understand money management, willing to use a little money management in crypto. And I really think it can be the holy grail. I talked about this one yesterday and I'll show you a live chart in a minute. And hopefully, I know I just said hope, but hopefully it's still going up. What's it, 1475 here? But you can see this is almost a Landry Light pullback, close enough for government work. In fact, it's just a pullback. I'd have played it anyway. I don't always wait for it to go all the way down to the 30 EMA. But anyway, lots of Landry Light, little pullback in here. I got long here, and two days later, I hit the IPT. Lately, by the way, I've been using just 20% for my IPT to make life easy. I multiply whatever I get in by 1.2, and that gives me my IPT. Now, I, on occasion, I will use a little bit less if it's something that's higher priced and more established, like I bought some Solana earlier, and I only have a 10% IPT in it. Now in stocks, as you know, our IPT could be anywhere from, it might be 10%, it might be 20%, it might be 30%. And that means that our if the IPT is 30%, it means our stop is 30% lower. On some of these, by the way, some of the breakout ones, I'm playing them a little bit more closer to the vest when I'm buying in those highs. But anyway, I haven't fully adjusted to the volatility of the market. I probably need to get an HV indicator in here to give me a feel for how volatile it truly is. And you can see I got stopped out in the remainder of that trade, and I went right back in. And the reason I went right back in was, well, it's set up again as a pullback, and it looked pretty good. So I bought it here, flipped it out later that day for a 20% move. And as I said quite a bit, I was doing a presentation a while back, and I captured all my slides and everything. And in the middle of the presentation, I'm like, wow, that, that happened in three minutes. The the trigger to the initial profit target. And that's that's a pretty amazing thing when it when it when it happens. The problem is, as I alluded to earlier, is you can't sit around waiting for that to happen all day. Before you know it, you wasted your whole day doing this stuff. And I'm still nickel and dimes with this stuff, wrapping my head around it. I'm not that in the form. As I've said a lot of times, if my crypto account blew up tomorrow. I could get on my life and it, it wouldn't, I'd be pissed, don't get me wrong, but I'd be able to live to fight another day, right?